All right, we're in the salon of the 465 Riviera. This boat's full C-Zone. This is the C-Zone, the main C-Zone screen. Uh, you can see we're in entertaining mode right now. We can go into cruising mode. A bunch of stuff turns on and off. Um, we have an immense amount of control, but I wanted to show you the updates we did from the factory. We have uh, inverter charger information. So we put that big 24 volt inverter charger in, but there's three other chargers on this boat as well. So we have start charger, shows us all the batteries being charged there. We have digital control of that unit. We have inverter charger. We have control of the charger and the inverter, and it shows you what's happening right now. We're charging the batteries. And then we have the house auxiliary charger for added charging abilities when the house bank is depleted. Again, digital control. I love this aspect of C-Zone where you can see what's happening with the power transfer and actually control the units right here instead of just switching switches and hoping things work. We also added in generator starting right through C-Zone so we can start and stop the generator right on C-Zone. So I'm gonna actually start the generator right now and show you how cool that is. I come up here to the analog panel from Onan. I don't know if you heard that, but the gen just fired up. We'll see the panel go green as it runs. That was all done through C-Zone and uh, makes it really nice because it allows you to control the generator for, from other digital switches off board the boat, which on this boat, we did a barnacle system, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But we still can use this analog panel as a backup, which is really nice. But you can see we're actually keeping an hour log right here on C-Zone as well. And then we can stop the gen right from C-Zone. Lights go off, stop the gen. All right, next I'm gonna show you this really cool install that we did um, on a Riviera 465, only one year old. And uh, when a customer wanted to upgrade to a large lithium system and bigger inverters so they could spend more time without the generator running. Um, in this corner, it's hard to see. We have a 4,500 watt inverter. This boat's 24 volt. That inverter was upgraded uh, from the factory inverter so they could invert more loads continuously. And when you have a big inverter, you need a bigger battery bank. So we also upgraded the house bank, which now is three 6,000 watt hour master volt MLI ultra batteries. Um, for this boat, it allows it to be on anchor for almost 12 hours with the devices running that they want to run before they need to start charging. It's a massive amount of battery power. It's really great. And uh, these can do up to 500 amps output each, which is just a ton. Um, in order to charge really quickly, which was also a requirement from the customer, we, um, we have multiple charging inputs to these batteries. So the first one you're seeing, this is actually a remote rectifier that's coming off of an alternator that's under this shroud. It's an Electromax 24 volt, 165 amp alternator with remote rectifier that allows us to keep the temperature down in the alternator uh, so that we can continuously charge longer at lower RPMs so that we get the batteries up faster. Um, up here, you're going to see this is a master disconnect switch just for the inverter. So if there's ever an emergency and the inverter has issues, they can disconnect DC power from it from a safety standpoint. You can see the big um, bus bars for house positive, house ground off the lithium batteries with covers. Um, those are 1000 amp bus bars each uh, for power positive and negative. That alternator uh, is controlled via an external regulator, which is also integrated into Masterbolt. So that allows the batteries to talk to all charging devices, including the alternator, and shut the charging devices down if the batteries are unhappy, which is really important. And uh, it's the only kind of systems that we work on are integrated lithium where the batteries have that communication ability. Keep moving over here. We have this, which is an analog circuit breaker based inverter bypass box. So if the inverter fails, but the generator is still functioning, the customer is not going to lose the inverted outlets and the Starlink and all the devices that run off the inverter. So all they have to do is shut off the inverter on the input side, slide over the bypass, turn that on. Same thing on the output side. This is a really nice feature when you're adding an inverter because that way you still get full functionality even if one device fails while you're offshore. And let's face it, things do fail. That inverter is also a charger that charges up to 120 amps at 24 volts. So we got a lot of charging on that side, plus the alternator we just discussed 
but customer wanted to charge even faster and recharge in two to three hours if they were fully depleted. So we added in a secondary uh, battery charger for the house bank. So this is another 100 amp battery charger. So this boat, full bore, engine running, and both battery chargers going is getting 360 plus amps DC at 24 volts, which is just an immense amount of power. Um, for you guys doing 12 volt systems, that's over 700 amps at 12 volts charging. And these batteries can take it and they, they suck it down. You can see the circuit breakers for, uh, for all the devices. So um, all clean, we were able to use the factory panel and just update breakers and relabel them. This boat also has, is all C-Zone. So it also has what's called an ACMI and ACOI. So AC, digitally controlled AC switches. So this is the main side, inverter is on. This is the load side. So all those little black boxes at the top actually are just AC relays that turn on and off so you can control the system from a screen. And, uh, and that way, whether it's AC or DC, you're controlling it. You can see we have another battery charger. This is for start batteries, generator batteries, auxiliary batteries, everything else that's led on this boat. Um, you can see some C-Zone modules here. And then uh, below that, actually move these bags. We put in this uh, DC to DC. Um, converter charger but it's actually being used as a power supply so the customer wanted some high amperage 12 volt electric fishing reel outlets uh, for deep dropping and things like that and 12 volt is easier because manufacturers of the fishing reels do a lot more 12 volt than 24 so we put in a 50 amp converter so now he's got 50 amps of 12 volt available at his fishing reels that's also integrated into master volt so we can digitally turn it on and off so there's no analog switches on this boat, it's all digital, and I'll show you that in a second. Give us a call if you want to talk about doing something like this on your boat. Thank you.